I'm Daniel from bottom of the midnight. Hi, I'm Mitya. And I'm Maltre in Zeeland. It's been quite a roller coaster, but um, yeah, a lot of work that has to keep our thoughts maybe somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, we've been focusing on the new release so much that it, it has taken a lot of our time. So we've been doing okay, I guess. The, the whole meaning of the shows has changed a lot after what happened, but but yeah, those shows are gonna be very dear to us, I guess, and and uh. And the shows went really well, and I'm really thankful that we were able to do, even though it was just three shows, but we were able to do those. So, yeah, and it also felt like very uh, rewarding to finally get to play those shows because they were postponed for like I don't know three or four times uh, in 2020. Because at first we were supposed to play our first show up like in April last year, mm. so uh, of course it was like very frustrating every time they got cancelled and postponed but in the end when we finally got to do those shows it uh yeah felt very very rewarding and yeah definitely really. and uh, i still can wrap my head around the fact that the last show was actually alex's last show yeah yeah exactly gotta feel strange so was that one at davos yeah yeah which is kind of cool because it was Helsinki, so. Yeah, yeah, in a way. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did, but uh, still, it was funny to to know that you know the information was based on you know Chinese. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I think it was kind of hilarious in a way. Were you already like in discussion with Alexi about joining the band back then? Yeah, with uh, Alexi and Daniel. Yeah, okay. but I have no idea who whoever wrote that. It definitely wasn't us. <laughs> <laughs> it was the plan from the beginning a release EP first and then focus on a full length album. So, yeah, it was the plan. But that wasn't the plan in the very beginning. Like, uh, initially, we were planning to just play live shows. Yeah, right. Yeah. And tour for like a year and a half before actually even thinking about new material. But then, obviously, the pandemic came. And uh, in the end, it was kind of a gift for us because I don't think if it wasn't for the pandemic, we probably wouldn't have the songs out. Yeah. Yeah. And after we signed the deal with Maple, then then it was the plan. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the the cool thing about it is that it was also, you know, approved by Alexi the whole EP rather than something that we put together afterwards. Yeah. So it's really the way he wanted it to be as well. Yeah. I mean, everything was finished before his passing. Including artwork, and he, he just couldn't wait to get those out. Yeah. It's Alexi top on his game, easily. Yeah, you can hear how how hungry and eager he was to uh, was to conquer the world again with with a new band. And yeah, it was gonna be a very strong start for the for the new lineup and the new band. Yeah. It was actually me and Alexi who discussed the artwork and uh, the way you should take with, with the colors and stuff like that. And he just he just gave me the uh, basic instructions, like he wants to have the uh, the red as a prominent color and uh, have the sky in one way or another. And then I just. From that, I was uh, just emailing back and forth with Travis, our art guy, and uh, yeah, everything was finished <laughs> before all this passed. I didn't think we had um, that kind of discussion that, like, what would be the new direction in any way. I think. No, not not much. I, I mean, before you guys were in, we had a, like a tiny discussion about the solos and lead work and Alex felt that it was time to go to lead guitar style of band and, and um, cut down those keyboards a little bit just sticky yeah that's the only thing we ever and I think maybe just natural that Alex wrote 
the songs and then with the whole new lineup of course it's gonna sound a bit different like since it's all different players so I think that's that might be the reason why it's it different from the general bottom work I guess yeah I think musically it was pretty clear that uh, bottom after midnight would uh, carry on where COB left off and uh, and there was no plans to <laughs> change the music style drastically or anything. <laughs> uh, and that's why the word Bodom is in the name and obviously we were planning to play COB songs in the future as well. The Galaxy saw it as a continuum of his work that is done with, with yeah. Bodom, so it was just, you know, kind of 11th album in the making for him, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it would be kind of weird if you play this kind of poppy metal or something suddenly. So. Yeah, that would be like a completely different name and we wouldn't <laughs> have even planning to plan to play uh, any of those also. Yeah. I think, um, well, we recorded the stuff separately, of course, and, and and a lot of parts where like it was just like for example the bass tracks we I did uh, along with uh, Johannes our producer but when it came to like you said the, the backing vocals and stuff then we were like all there simultaneously and and I think we had a really good vibe of that we were doing something meaningful and special there right? everybody was in a good mood you know, in general and and we felt that we have strong songs so it yeah. was a nice process and it, then again it was the first time for us in the studio together so it was interesting in a way. Well I think the most important <laughs> thing in the sto story is maybe that that was the last day we all saw Alexi in, in person and that was the very last piece of work we did together. That's, that's the, uh, the first thing. That's yeah, fun. other than that it was pretty much normal. Work music day. work day yeah, yeah. <laughs> but a lot of fun of course okay. might be a boring answer but um, how I look at it uh, the whole last year felt just like blink of an eye so uh, I just think of the whole year in general uh, like what we got to do together and uh, although because, uh, because of the pandemic we didn't get to play many shows but we still hung out a lot together. I yeah. will always remember those times for sure. Yeah, it feels like it was just a couple of months that we spent together, yeah. even though it was a year. And, but I remember feeling it like exceptionally, you know, excited when we got on our first like, you know, gig that was played in in Sainayoki, like shoving into the uh, same band for the first time. And that really, that was something special. For me too. Yeah, that's when, when the band kind of became like the real thing. Yeah, exactly. Like 99% of the comments online were just like praising him and uh, immensely uh, positive. And I guess, you know, majority of the, of the feedback came from the YouTube videos rather than the audience that was actually there, I guess. So. Yeah. Because, of course, with the pandemic and stuff, we didn't hang out afterwards with the with the fans or the audience. So. When you're on the stage, you just forget everything. Yeah, especially in Tavasti, I didn't feel like that at all because everybody was really into it. Yeah. Anyway, and uh, I think it was restricted to like 300 people, but everybody was so spread around that they didn't look empty or anything. Probably something, but uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if I if I know right now what it's gonna be, because it's probably something that I don't think about it until yeah. yeah. Well, obviously it was a um, great honor to to get to play with a phenomenal musician as Alexi was, and. Uh, I guess it's an important life lesson as well. Like you should enjoy every every little moment you get to have with your friends and loved ones because you never know when it's gonna be That's the last right. time. And that must be it.
Oh, let's wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> until that, until uh, the world reopens, I'm just trying to keep myself busy with session work and recording drum videos and stuff like that. But once we get to travel around and uh, start touring, there's going to be a lot of shows for Hard Eyes Hostess. We released an album a year ago and we still haven't get to play any shows, so I think <laughs> there's going to be a lot of touring. Whenever that's possible. Well, I don't have any plans yet. Figured out. Haven't really had the time even to think about it. But um, for, yeah, for sure, you know, either put together a new band of some sort, or, or, I don't know. Yeah, but time will tell. But of course, keep on doing music. And you need a guitar thing. player. <laughs> I'll okay, man. Yeah. You can call me anytime. <laughs> If you're not busy, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I have time. Oh, oh, you guys will check out uh, our EP that's coming out this Friday. And hope you like it. Yeah, check out the Paint the Sky with Blood EP. I'm pretty sure you will like it.